YouTube is going to hate me for this. I'm just going to give you the 12 days of open AI and that's it. I'm going to give you one take at the end and we're going to be done. Number one was O1 and O1 Pro. Big deal. First release of reasoning models. Number two, reinforcement fine tuning really aimed at sort of corporations. Number three was Sora, which was a text to video model aimed at the consumer that had been promised for months. Number four was Canvas, which had been in beta for a while. Number five was Apple Intelligence. So they sort of wrapped chat GPT into the iPhone. That was when they had the massive outage. I think the two are related. Uh, then we had advanced voice with video, which Google sort of stole their thunder on because they did the same thing with Gemini. Then we had projects, which is what Claude already has. So you can organize your files and stuff. Then we had chat GPT search, which again, some of us already had in beta. Then we had dev tools for O1, which is cool, which is necessary. 11th, we had seamless app integrations. People cannot make up their minds what that one is. Like people are just giving up linking to that when they're building their listicles because it's like important, but like the details are very not, not there. Um, and then last but not least, O3, which is a freaking huge deal and is an entirely new level of intelligence. Here's my comment at the end. That is no way to release artificial general intelligence. You do not do that and then expect to be able to get the public's attention. And I think that the reason why I'm frustrated and many of the rest of us are frustrated is that we're used to the Apple style of releases where it's a consumer fixing release and it's polished and it's focused on what the consumer needs. That's not how this works. This goes back to an earlier tradition of American innovation in Bell Labs. Bell Labs just built stuff and they released it and they kind of didn't care what order it was in and they didn't care if it was polished and they didn't care if it was ready for the consumer. And like, O3 wasn't ready. Like it's not actually out. They're asking for safety researchers. Sam Altman is shilling it for safety researchers actively on Twitter. So I think we should think about OpenAI more as Bell Labs and less as Apple, because that actually explains a ton of how they're handling releases. And it implies that you should not necessarily assume that the company that delivers the innovation is the company that monetizes it, the company that figures out the massive hit consumer application. I see people all the time assuming that OpenAI has a grand strategy and they're going to put it all together into one seamless product, but I don't see a track record of that. Somebody else may take their building blocks and do that. We will see. That's my comment. Those are the 12 days of OpenAI. It's quite a hodgepodge. If you want a longer discussion of it, it's on my Substack. Cheers.